how do and welcome back well I'm trying the uh, the Wilco's traditional bitter it's part of their uh, artisan range which are usually you know the, the taller tins I think you get about 1.7 kilogram of the uh, the extract in there it's all right I brewed it as per instructions except uh, rather than using sugar as, as they recommended I used uh, what did I use oh, I used a brew enhancer a kilogram of brew enhancer and uh, left it for about 10 days I've actually put this in the uh, the pressure barrel you can probably see <laughs> nice thick head uh, and it's been in there now for about uh, only about five days so it still needs another week or so but I just thought I'd try one and it's certainly pressured up nicely flavor wise it's uh, an aroma there's not much aroma to it it's got quite a watery aroma to be honest uh, but flavor wise it reminds me of like a Tetley a Tetley cream flow or a John Smith's one of those type of, of beers uh, yeah there's really not much flavor at all and it's it's quite wet and watery and the fruit flies have come out <laughs> again every time you open a beer can't wait for a bit of more winter weather and they'll all die off uh, should put some vinegar out overnight anyway yeah it does actually remind me of like a John Smith's or a Tetley uh, it's it's watery it's light I think it I think it's only about 3.8 percent there's really not much malt flavor to it just a light sweetness but mostly it's uh I think he's, uh, there was a reviewer on YouTube was he called Ronald Thoreau I've mentioned him before he lives in New Orleans he's been on YouTube ages like 10 years or something lives in New Orleans and uh, this is I'll turn that off because it's beeping I don't know if you can hear it uh, And he, and he described when he tried this beer as being uh, like a tea, a tea-like quality, tannin basically. I think he may have used the word tannin, and this has that. And I always think that John Smiths and the uh, the Tetley Cream Flows, they've got that same sort of tannin taste, and this is the same. Uh, I think I pay £15 for this whereas the other kits in their artisan range when they had some because there's not in store now but when they had some they pumped the price up to 19 but this was still at 15 and I think it's probably because it wasn't a good seller so uh, they were probably just trying to sell it off it's a decent everyday every man's sort of beer something maybe your granddad would like or your dad something like that uh but yeah it does remind me a lot of your your Tetley cream flows your your uh what Tetley smooth or something and your john smith's light watery with like a yeah like a tanning type bitterness at the back end still it is pleasant enough and at 3.8 you know it's just a something to wet the whistle isn't it Mm. now the proper job it's fermenting away as I speak it's in the fermenter uh, it only took a few hours and it came down to about 24 so I pitched the yeast I, I, I sometimes like pitching the yeast when it's a little bit high and then overnight it did come down to about 20 degrees uh, which is the ambient temperature in the room uh, and it uh, bubbling away nicely you know so I'm going to leave that now for about 10 days two weeks uh, but I took a gravity reading and whereas on the the instructions which I've got here I'm going to keep this actually it's all got stained now 
Uh, but I'm going to get a folder and if I get any more of these I'll just keep them. Uh, it says you're, you're looking at a starting gravity of about 1055. Mine came out at 1060. Which makes me think maybe I should just add another litre of water or something or half a litre and just try and get that down because uh, 1060, if it finishes where it says at uh, 1014, I'm looking at a 6% beer. Whereas this was aiming for 5.5. .5. <coughs> uh, and I wanted something that were a bit more quaffable than a 6%. So uh, I'll just leave it, I think, for this, this time. And... Uh, I'll see how it comes out, but if it gets anywhere below 1014, you know, you're probably looking at six and a half percent or something. So, but flavour wise, because I took a, a taste from the the hydrometer tube, my God, oh, oh, what a beer. And uh, it was reminiscent of a proper job. It's got a really nice hop forward citrus flavour, those American hops with the Chinook and the Cascade oh it was a beautiful beer absolutely beautiful now how close it is side by side we're gonna have to wait and see obviously that's gonna take three to four weeks before we can take a first taste test but my god it doesn't matter because it's gonna be a good beer so I'm really happy with that and I've already got all the bottles and everything sanitized although I'll give them another spray with Star Sand uh, before I do bottle basically with that squirter I've got uh, I just put the nozzle so it's it's like a wide spray and I just put it in the neck of the bottle and just give it two two squirts and it just covers the entire <laughs> inside of the bottle and that's my sanitation done with star sand uh, so I'll give them all a squirt and uh, and then I'll bottle that one uh, in about 10 days two weeks uh, so yeah, but what a nice beer. Oh, it, it, that's going to be a good one. I don't care if it tastes like the commercial version or not. It's just a cracking beer. Whereas this is mediocre. Mediocre to average. Like I say, if you don't like your Tetleys and you don't like your John Smiths, uh, yeah, you're not going to like this because it's pretty much bang on that type of beer. thin not much flavor from the malts at all in fact the biggest flavor is that tanning tea like bitterness it is a, it is a little dry at the back end i think that tanning flavors gives it like a dryness uh yeah it's just like a john smith's or a tetley so if you like those beers you know and you can find it in your Wilco's because more and more people are commenting on my Facebook <laughs> on this uh, group I'm a member of and I put that comment on I'm still getting people replying going to their Wilco's and they're the same there's nothing there so if you can find it and you like that type of beer and it's still 15 quid well all right I buy it uh, a bag of you know brew enhancer for a five or a six quid and, uh, and you've got 40 pints of a, a, an everyday quaffable beer that's only 3.8%. So you can have a few whilst you're watching the football or something like that. But for me, I don't think I'll be buying it again. If I get the opportunity to, I think I'll just leave that on the shelf. And I think that's probably why they kept this at 15 quid whilst all the others were, were £19. Uh, I think the best in this range so far that I've tried is, is Chockermeister. That's a really nice stout, but uh, this is very mediocre. Okay, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. And as always, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye for now.